The chart right here shows Alex's projected expenditures for his freshman year at a local university, and the problem says he plans to spend $20,000 for the year. And we have to determine how many dollars will Alex spend on books. Well, with any pie chart, we know that the sum of all of the parts is 100%. So let's start by adding up the percentages that are given. So he spends 22% of his expenditures on rent and 16% on food and 28% on tuition. So when we add that up all together, we end up getting 66%. So we know the remaining pieces have to add up with 66% to total 100. So the remaining parts must be 34% because that is the only thing you can add to 66 to make 100%. So we know that books plus the miscellaneous items are a total of 34%. Now we know that both of these are equal in value because each one of them say X percent. So if you ever have a variable that's exactly the same like X and X or Y and Y or Z and Z, because it's the same variable, you know they represent the same number. So we can equally divide this 34% into two parts and that would be 17%. So we know that Alex spends 17% of his expenditures on books and 17% of his expenditures are on miscellaneous items. However, what we have to do is figure out how many dollars is he spending on books. So he is spending 17% of the $20,000 on books. So what we do whenever finding the percentage of a total is multiply that total by the percentage given as a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 17%, which is the same thing as 17 out of 100. So we write it as 17 hundredths and we multiply it by 20,000. Now the reason I put 20,000 at the bottom is because it ends in all of these zeros. And 20,000 ends in four zeros, so all I do is I take these four zeros and just drop them down. And then I take two and multiply it by 17, which is 34. And because there are two place values after this decimal, we go to the end of our answer and move our decimal over two spaces. And we end up getting $3,400, which is how much Alex spent on books.